Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we'll be reviewing the Bamboo CTH670 tablet. Which of course is what I'm using to create the video, so you all know what it is capable of. The Bamboo Drawing Tablet is a great multi-purpose board for all types of artistry and all levels of artists. Personally for me it was a bit difficult to set up, but after a while, in like 20 restarts, I finally got it to work. So in case you all have the same problem or are looking to set up yours as well, all you have to do is go to the Wacom website, or better yet just search Wacom Drivers and Google Allegiant straight to the correct page. So from there, there's going to be a section of drivers for most of the recent and professional tablets. For this model, you want to skip all that and go to the drivers for previous generations products area. Even skip the Bamboo Ink Stylus option for now since it's not required for setup. So then, depending if you have a Mac or a Windows computer, you download the file, execute it, and the magical wizard will take care of most of your problems. You just have to accept them every once in a while. Through all this, you can have the tablet plugged into the computer, or not, it doesn't really matter, but everything will take place once you restart your computer. If necessary, you will need to power on the tablet itself, which will be the center button, and it will turn blue once it is on. If it is white, that means it is registering the pen contacting the tablet. Furthermore, you may have to go into your Bluetooth settings and connect the device that says Wacom Intuos, or something similar. And that's about it. You'll be able to test the tablet by seeing if your cursor moves around while on the desktop with either your finger or pen, or you can pull up any program like Paint and start drawing. Of course, there are more obscure details and settings you can change than I can talk about, but really they don't need to be changed, unless you're a professional. And then ironically, if you're a professional, then you're probably not watching this video for this long. So the default setting will work perfectly fine for anyone like me. But in the end, I think it's a pretty great tablet. It'll work for all Mac and Windows operating systems, even Windows 10. Plus with 834 customer reviews and a 4.3 out of 5 star rating on Amazon, you can't really go wrong. Though if anything, I may suggest looking at the newer Bamboo CTH680 drawing tablet. It's pretty much the same in drawing specs, but the design is slightly refreshed, and it does come with more modern software. Plus then, if you're looking for a more professional option, there is the Wacom Intuos series, and that's the more professional series of drivers and tablets if you want to use it. But, I mean, you know, it's just roughly the same. Alright, that's about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.